Dennis Michael Lynch is a respected uh, expert in the field. Uh, and he knows all about the borders, and uh, he also knows about Islamic terrorism, especially ISIS. That's why Fox News has brought him out as an expert. Well, Dennis Michael Lynch, what do you have for us? I would guarantee you, in fact, I would bet my life on the fact, your last guest just said yeah. about ISIS coming into America, I would guarantee you they're already here. I have worked in the uh, wow. desert. And I have caught these people before, and I've seen Korans, prayer rugs, you name it. They're already here. Wow. Okay, I want to bring you to another area. I don't know which part of that I love most. I think it was Kill Me going, wow. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> They're already here, dude. Where the fuck are they? <laughs> They're already here. See, this motherfucker caught him at the border. But you know, like fishing, catch and release, he just let him go. You don't think it would have made massive news that Dennis Michael frickin' Lynch caught ISIS at the border? You don't think that would have made the news? I got one of them right here, ISIS, They're looking to decapitate some Mexicans or something, okay? Here he is at the border. Ah, fuck it, I'm gonna let him go. <laughs> They're already here, I know it, I know it, I saw them. I would bet my, I would double dog dare you to defy me, I would bet my life and just spit on my mom's grave. I would, I would. Okay, so what the hell is he talking about? Oh no, it turns out they have found some prayer rugs. A lot of Muslims in Mexico. <laughs> so they have found some prayer rugs at the border. Here, let me show you a picture of one. Uh, July 9th, 2014. Not so long ago, a little over a month ago. They, uh, caught at the border, there it is. <laughs> gotcha, ISIS. Uh, in fact, uh, let me explain further. A spokesperson for the American Patriot. Uh, three percent. That's such a confusing. Everything. Everybody's a percentage now. The gr group's name is American Patriot. Three percent. I'm going to name a random group. Americans for America. Eight percent. Anyway, <laughs> American Patriot. Three percent. A self-styled militia patrolling the Mexican-U.S. border contacted Breitbart.com and relayed the discovery of the rug Monday night just south of the Sierra Vista in Coronado National Forest. Again, just a little over a month ago, okay? Matthew Lieber, the leader of American Patriot 3%, said, <laughs> so funny, <laughs> wow. Uh, <laughs> That's when I saw things laying around, and I was like, what the hell is that? We walked over there, and I didn't really want to pull at it, not knowing what was on it. Mm, that's you know, always thinking, Matthew Lieber, okay? Always thinking. Look, there could be a booby trap, it could be a bomb underneath. Oh, I think that it's a Quran! It could be, could be. All right. He continues I poked a bit at it with a stick, which is really smart if it's a bomb. <laughs> and noticed some of the Arabic writing and was just like, oh boy. I snapped a couple of photos and then went on our patrol. Once again, if you really thought it was like maybe a bomb or something, you might want to call that one in, right? You want to know what it turned out to be? An Adidas jersey. <laughs> Soccer jersey. <laughs> now, what's more likely? Somebody sneaking across the border in a soccer jersey or somebody bringing in their prayer rug? But these guys, I noticed the Arabic writing on it that said Al Adidas. <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> okay, same group of. Good group of goofballs. Uh, more from them. Breitbart recently reported the same militia group told them that the U.S. Border Patrol had picked up six special interest aliens bloop, 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 bloop. near Laredo, Texas, each one carrying 60,000 Iraqi dinars apiece. Huh? They got them. Man, that sounds terrible, right? I mean, if you're gonna make up a story, that's that's the one to make it. 60,000, they're gonna fight us, some sort of terrorism. They got 60,000 Iraqi dinars. How much is that? 60,000 dinars is equal to $51 in US currency. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure you could even buy that Adidas jersey with those 60,000 dinars. Uh, they're already here. They're already here. Wow. <laughs>